coho depths for coho are 30 to 60 feet at daylight and you drop down 10 feet per hour as the sun gets high on the water and later on in the morning or after 8.30 I would start going from 120 to 150. Uh, the, bait count, the bait just starts going down as the sun gets on the water and it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this flasher on this downrigger. I'm going to let it out about 25 feet. Snap the reel into gear. And putting the line in the release. Now if you're fishing shallow, you only have to put the line about halfway into the release. But as we go down to 150 feet, you need to put the line all the way back in the bottom of the release here. If not, it'll premature release as you're letting the line out. Put the reel in free spool and let the line out. Put the line the reel back into gear, put the rod in the rod holder. If you're going down below, let's say 60 feet, you need to you need to reclaim some of the line by either grabbing it and reeling it back in or just reeling, tightening up the drag and reeling in the slip. John Martinez from John Sporting Goods and I'm here today fishing with Gary Krein from All Star Charters and we're going to talk about hooking up coho gear. I like to use the Purple Haze Flasher and I like to use the Purple Haze Squid and what's really important on this rig is to put a salted piece of herring on this front hook. And as you can see the leader is about 36 inches away from the flasher. Now Gary, do you rig yours up fairly similar? Same, similar concept. I like the Moon Glow Red Racer and that flasher with the same squid. Uh, an alternative to bait a lot of times is Berkeley Gulp. We take the gulp strip such as this and cut little pieces about the size of your piece of bait, put it on the upper hook the same as you'd put your bait on uh, right on the hook there and use that the same as you would with about the same 34 to 36 inches of leader uh, behind the uh, flasher. Now what do you think a good trolling speed is day in and day out? What do you, what do you think mm -hmm. the range is for good coho fishing? Well good coho fishing is certainly is faster than Chinook fishing so I like to go about three to three and a half miles an hour. I think that they like speed and a little bit more speed is important. If you're not catching, typically speeding up will do more good than slowing down would. Now earlier in the day you were talking about doing turns and speeding up and slowing down. What's behind that? Well, coho are very reactive fish, reacting off of each other and of course that's the function of this uh, flasher is to make them think that there's another brother of theirs getting a meal. And so a change of pace, speeding up, slowing down, making turns, all of that makes them think that, oh, my friend got a meal, I need to go get involved in that. Well, we got a crew of six uh, people today. Let's go fishing right now, Gary. Let's see what we can get, okay? Let's see how many of these coho we can put in the box. Great day of fishing today. We uh, limited out the boat. Uh, the crew of six got 12 coho. I think we caught them at 30 to 60 in the morning and we finished off at about 150. That's correct, yes. And as the sun came up, we went down and the fish went down with it and started biting. They just We just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper as the sun came up and it was an incredible bite today, very wasn't it? Very good, very good bite. What a great experience crew of people we had with us. This coho fishery this year is awesome. It's the best it gets. As good as it gets, no doubt about it. That's Gary Crying from All Star Charters. These are the rigs that I recommend for coho fishing. The top rig is an 11 inch purple haze flasher and it's rigged with a OAL 12R gold star purple haze squid and the insert is an ace high fly UV purple haze. The bottom rig is an 11 inch red racer flasher and it's rigged with a OG 142R green glow squid. The insert is an ace high fly UV green spatter. They're tied up with 36 inches a liter and the hooks are a double hook rig tied with two 4-aught Mustad stainless steel hooks.